Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. <laughs> We're doing a little tuk-tuk road trip today, you guys. We've been just staying in the town of General Luna, which is kind of in the southeast part of Chargao. But uh, we have so much more of the island to see. We're gonna just try to kind of go slow and take our time and see what we can see. There's some really beautiful spots on this island that we're hoping to get to, but mostly we just want to see what's out here. So far, even just outside of General Luna, it's super beautiful. Mm -hmm. There are palm tree groves everywhere and rice fields and- Little uh, pigs and cows and everything. Oh yeah, so many animals. <laughs> so I gotta pass somebody real quick. Getting the hang of this thing. Yeah, he's a freaking champ yeah. in it. It was kind of difficult at first, but I feel like I'm getting it. So we have about an hour or more to get to our destination, but we're probably going to take a little bit longer just so we can go slow, take our time, see the sights like Allison said. Yep. All right. I guess that's it. Intro over. <laughs> bit of a traffic jam right now they're trying to pave some of this road over here you can see on the right but on the left it is nice and sloppy still Woo! some of this mud is really deep <laughs> this is why you get a tuk-tuk because all these motorcycle drivers are getting covered in mud right now oh yeah that's a lot nicer we're just stopping to get gas and there are no gas stations up in this part of the island so this is what you do you get a person that has a bunch of Coke bottles full of gasoline, and then you buy them by the liter, and they dump them in right there. And then you're back on the road. Usually about 60 pesos per liter. To give you guys an idea of what the roads are like on the island, mostly they've all been paved and actually pretty nice. Not too many potholes. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, and I think they're widening the roads maybe across the entire island. So there is a bit of construction. We got caught up in a little uh, roadblock for about five minutes, but that's been it. Yep. But otherwise, we're, we kind of have the roads to ourselves once you get out of the cities. There are a few dirt roads and stuff, but it seems that all the main roads are paved. So if you kind of go off of that, you might find a dirt road or two. And those can be a little tougher to negotiate, but so far this has been some pretty easy driving. Not yeah, too not too bad. It's not very hilly, so our little tuk-tuk's doing okay. So we started in General Luna, down on the southeastern part of the island. We're driving up to a town called San Isidra, which takes you along the eastern coast of the island. Tomorrow, we're wanting to go visit some islands that are in the northwestern part of the island. Yes. So. One thing to note though, there is no cell signal once you pretty much leave General Luna. Yeah. So we are supposed to be staying in San Isidro. That might change. Tall has, we've gotten a message here and there saying that there might be an issue with the Airbnb. We can't really figure it out, so we'll just see what happens once we get up there. Yeah, I think they ended up overbooking the room or something like that. Yeah. But we're still trying to figure it out. I don't know. Hopefully we'll get a little pocket of cell signal up here somewhere. <laughs> Stay we'll, tuned, yeah, though. Yeah, we'll, we'll report back on that one. <laughs> We've made it to our first spot. There's this uh, overlook over all these palm trees and uh, they're just as far as the eye can see. If you're driving on the road, you can't miss it. You take this sharp turn and it's up on this kind of cliff side and you just see the palm trees as far as you can. We were greeted by this guy over here. <laughs> What's your name? Kenneth. Kenneth? Yeah. Well, good to meet you. <laughs> if you come here, he sells bamboo straws. They're very premium quality. <laughs> For like souvenir because the plastic's yeah. not allowed. There they are. Mm -hmm. This one is good for like the gallo. Yeah. This one is uh, soap drinks, shake, milk tea, bubble tea. Very nice. Best <laughs> All straws of our in the land right here. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's times like these when I'm so glad we're in a tuk tuk because it's raining outside. We just pulled over to get some photos and all of a sudden it started raining and we're good. <laughs> yeah, we're nice and cozy in here. It's a little breezy and cool now that the sun's gone. I feel bad for everyone in the scooters. They're all driving by like trying to shield their eyes and drive. <laughs> yeah, but the weather is like this in the Philippines. It'll be, it was a bright sunny day, crazy hot, and then all of a sudden within five minutes span, now it's pouring down rain like this. It's all dreary out. It's a lot cooler. But it you is kind of nice. It is really nice, but you can see blue sky still on the other side. So I think we just have a few more minutes. Yeah, it'll go away just as quick as it comes on. <laughs> It's 
It's not just a quick passing by storm anymore. <laughs> it's coming down. I don't even know where it came from. I swear it was one little baby storm cloud with blue skies all around. Must have multiplied in the air. <laughs> but I think we're gonna try to get going and drive through it. I mean, luckily we have these little flaps yeah. that'll uh, shield us from some of the rain. All right. Rain, I guess. Just Velcro them real quick, real sturdy like. Flaps came undone. Oopsie. Okay, I think we're back in business. <laughs> okay, here we go. We just drove through some little town and realized we haven't quite had breakfast yet, so we thought we would stop. So on the side of the road, J Cats. It seemed to get decent reviews. It was at least on yeah. the map, so we're Let's gonna go check try it out. it out. Breakfast has arrived, and I think I'm the clear winner here. I went with the pork sisig, which is like really minced up pork bits, onions, peppers. There's an egg in there, and it comes on this really hot plate, so it gets nice and crispy. You'll see this dish pretty much everywhere. Eric stuck pretty traditional, I'd say. Yeah, kept it nice and simple. Got an egg, bacon, and rice. Yep. It's gonna be so hot. It's pretty good. The onions and the pepper on there gives it a little crunch. And it has, I think, calamante juice on there, so it's a little sour. It's definitely very fatty from that pork. Pretty yummy, and if you got some rice, it would be super duper yeah. filling. We're just gonna share this rice. Yeah. taking our time on this road trip because we talked about the Airbnb earlier and we're not sure if that's gonna fall through or not. So technically we don't really have a place to stay and we're trying to decide if we need to book another one because they overbooked that other place. Yeah. And then told us at the last minute. So we may end up having to head up to the town of Burgos just because they have a lot more Airbnb selection up there. So we just stopped at this beach called Macpapungo because it's known for these incredible rock pools that form when the tide is low, but they just have this crystal clear blue water and they're super beautiful, mm -hmm. but uh, it's closed. Yeah, sadly. it's closed. A lot of things on the island, a lot of things are closed till February 10th. This particular site is closed till February 19th. So mm -hmm. we might try to sneak down after, I don't know, our little pit stop, but we definitely can't take the tuk-tuk down to the ocean, which yeah. is kind of a bummer. We've arrived to the town of Burgos. And they're throwing a party for us. Yeah, I don't know what's going on over there, but I guess some bumping music going on, people are screaming. We've actually checked into our homestay already, and the town is super cool. It's just really low-key, very local. It has a lot of street art, which yeah. is really cool, but it's got a really nice chill vibe. I mean, the ocean is literally one street that way. Yeah, I mean, General Luna is laid back, but this is even more laid back yeah. than that, for sure. I mean, definitely a lot smaller, a lot less like delicious food options and stuff like that, yeah. but still very cool. Speaking of delicious food options, since we have our tuk-tuk, we started just looking up places that were all around trying to find something good to eat for dinner. Mm -hmm. We found a place called Jungle, and it is in the jungle. So we'll see if it's good or not. I think we're gonna head there now. Yes. Apparently the Jungle Cafe is down this road. It's a little rough, but our trusty vehicle can handle it, I think. Shoes off as usual. I feel like that usually means it's a cool place. Yeah. Our late lunch slash second breakfast has officially arrived. We got... Oh, well you just told me what it was. It... Uh, scramble in the jungle. Scramble in the jungle. I don't know jungle. if that's a play on the Guns N' Roses song, but... Know, like, scramble, scramble in the jungle! <laughs> it's scrambled eggs. Mine has tomatoes and onions, and it's in all of these amazing spices. We got some bread around here. It looks very fresh. It smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. These are curried tomatoes, yeah, and it just smells like curry. Yeah. For y'all, this place, how amazing is this? So they've got two levels. We're up on the top super breezy as you can see it's nice and cool up here the ocean is over there there's palm trees all around us there's some little animals out there so do not let that road coming up here scare you there are a lot of signs so you won't miss it but you might think twice when you start going up but don't just keep going it's gonna be great part of the fun yeah <laughs> so we got our 
curried tomatoes there on top of some eggs. I've got some uh, herbs and spices and all kinds of goodies mixed up in here. I feel like I need to get a little bit of this sauce. No clue what it is. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Definitely like a mayonnaise based sauce, but so much flavor in the tomatoes. Oh yeah, that curry flavor is bomb. It's just got a lot of little spices and stuff in it. They also have pretty good coffee here, which we've also already drank. <laughs> yes, we actually tried to go to a local spot in town and they were out of coffee, no coffee. Yeah, that's so. a big reason why we came here. Yeah. <laughs> but we scored, this place is awesome. It's amazing, yeah. We couldn't have literally asked for anything better than this. So after this, unfortunately, we have some work to do, so we'll probably just go back to our home stay tonight. But tomorrow, we will be going out on an adventure. We will do some more island hopping, but it should be very different than what we did down south out of General Luna. We'll be going out of San Benito to some lesser known islands. We actually tried to ask locals about them. They didn't even know, so. Yeah, so uh, we're not really a little bit sure. like Secret Island kind of hopping yeah, or something. Yeah, really cool. Tall helped us get it all set up. He's been up here with some friends, so we'll meet up with him later. And we'll, that's it. So. <laughs> that's all. That's it. Goodbye, adventurers. <laughs> we'll see you on the road.